be aware that these will kick out some dust. Uh, so when cutting composite shafts, you may want to uh, create some sort of dust containment system uh, with your shop back. Or just uh, cut shafts in a designated area from stuff that you want to keep clean. It may not hurt to use a dust mask uh, for your health safety as well. And with any motorized equipment, I suggest that you wear a, a shop apron, long pants without cuffs, and shoes with socks. No sandals here. And be careful of the hot pieces of uh, steel shafts that, that may come flying off because they may cause a burn. I remember um, one person uh, telling me that he was uh, smelling something burning. And when he looked down at his pants, he saw that they were smoking. And what happened was a small piece of the shaft got stuck inside his cup. And so uh, expect the unexpected here. Jeff, was that a pal, Joey? Uh, no, it was actually a, um, a, a local club maker. Oh, that's funny. I mean, it's not funny, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> kind of comical. He was oh, he was fine though, correct? Oh yeah, it just it just uh, burned a little hole in his uh, pants. <laughs> At least it wasn't on bare skin. This is true. Okay, for larger club making shops, um, you can use a, 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 a lever arm cut off the saw or radial arm saw mounted with an abrasive cutting wheel uh, to cut uh, any shaft. These machines can provide the fastest and most efficient way to t uh, to cut. Uh, any type of shaft available. One additional plus in favor of the larger 14 inch chop saw uh, is that with a special um, positioning jig you can um, cut an entire uh, set of shafts with one pass of the saw. This is the method that's used by many large manufacturers so if you already own uh, one of these saws it's definitely the procedure to use if you want to increase, increase your proficiency. Uh, Harico does sell a uh, template that will allow you to cut in half and quarter inch increments uh, to fit your 14 inch chop saw. Uh, again, remember to position the saw in an area in your shop that will contain the dust as much as possible. Plus, move it to an area where the general public does not have access to it. Okay, okay we're going to use a chop saw here uh, to, uh, to cut the shaft. Um, we also have a uh, device, uh, we actually made this, but you could buy these commercially. Uh, they're templates. You can cut uh, one shaft at a time, or you can cut a whole set of shafts at one pass. For larger shops, this is a, a good investment. So what we do, we can just, let's say we have to take a half inch from the tip of the shaft, measure it, stop it, move it to the half inch mark. Okay, you want to wear safety goggles and, and uh, wipe it. Much quicker, much more efficient. Okay, some tips and techniques here. Um, cutting shafts perfectly straight is not necessary, but you, you want to cut them relatively straight. Manually cutting graphite with a hacksaw or an abrasive cutoff wheel with no guides can be a little tricky at first. Now you could square off the shaft with a belt sander against the platen, you know, that little metal bar behind the belt. I don't encourage you to try to square off the, uh, the shaft uh, tip or butt end uh, against the abrasive wheel or even a grinding stone. One, it will wear your wheels out more quickly, and secondly, you might grind too much off. And you can also remove burrs on steel shafts with a number of items. One is the retractable reamer on the tubing cutter, as we've mentioned before. And uh, you can also use a, a file, whether it's flat, round, or even triangular. That does work, too. But by leaving off sharp edges, it will be safer to handle the shafts as we proceed through each step in the assembly process, from installing the ferrules to putting on the grips. On a final note, um, obey all the safety rules. Oftentimes veteran club makers get lax in their ways and we don't always wear the right safety gear. All it takes is one time to lose an eye or a finger or burn yourself. We would like to see you stay in one piece and remain a customer for a long time to come. Well, that wraps up this uh, webinar on how to properly cut shafts. Let me throw this back over to Rob.
If you want to go to the last slide, Jeff, while folks are uh, typing in questions, they're starting to come in now. We'd like to offer you, well, first, thank you for uh, attending the webinar. Greatly appreciate it. Jeff, as always, is uh, one of the, the uh, finest gurus for uh, shaft uh, club making, flat shaft fitting. And we would like to give you 10% off on all Apollo graphite shafts for the next uh, four days until Sunday night. You must use coupon code 618 to receive the discount. Again, the offer expires midnight Sunday, so you have to order between now and midnight Sunday to get 10% off all Apollo Graphite shafts, and you use coupon code 618 online. Also be on the lookout for an email with a link to the recording of the webinar, complete with Jeff's vocals presentations and slides. And also check out our blog at blog.haricogolf.com and our Facebook and Twitter page. And probably about an hour after every webinar finishes, I usually get the um, recording of this webinar, including just slides, up on our blog at blog.haricogolf.com. So anytime you attend one of our blogs like, or webinars, all you have to do is go to the blog, and uh, it will be the first posting up there that you can just push a button and see the uh, recording of the uh, presentation. We're also having um, PDFs available for folks if you only want to view the slides. So let's see what we have here. We have from Mike. What are the recommended tip trimming instructions for Acer Velocity Graphite Iron Shafts? Um, it depends on if you want ladies or regular flex. You first got to buy, um, they come in A&L and r &S flexes, or combo flexes. But for the, the weaker of the two flexes, the L or the R, you're going to use trim chart GG. And for the uh, A flex or S flex, you're going to use uh, chart uh, JJ. All right, great. This comes from Chick. If the cut on the graphite shaft is not straight, how do you clean it up? That's a great question. Yeah. It, it, again, you can it, if you have a belt sander, you can... Um, uh, square it off against the platen, um, or you can use a file, or um, the last thing you want to use is really the edge of the, the, uh, the, uh, the cutoff wheel. But uh, it, you don't have to have it perfectly straight. You just want to get the most the jagged edges off. Okay. No one else has it? Oh, okay. We have a question from Hans. How do you measure offset putter shafts to get the precise toe or face balance you want in the club? Oh, and, and <laughs> to be honest with you, that's uh, actually a hard thing to do because not every um, bent putter shaft and every putter head will create a, fa a face balance position. I think one time I remember talking to um, people at uh, True Town.